Patriots are now below 500. Stephen A., starting to get worried? I am. I am. And, and, and I say that primarily due to wrecking in the division at the end with the Buffalo Bills. Buffalo Bills, I mean, I, you know, they could lose to Kansas City tonight. Obviously, they could win. We know what kind of potential they have. It could go either way. Uh, but if they end up getting a, a couple of games up on the New England Patriots, obviously, that's going to be something uh, that's difficult for them to overcome. Here's, nobody's going to feel sorry for the New England Patriots, and I understand that. Here's where I feel they should. These guys had two practices in the last two weeks. Right. I mean, you, you don't feel sorry for them if it's injuries. You don't feel sorry for them um, if, if it's circumstances that everybody has to live under. But I'm talking about every, it almost feels like every other day yeah. the New England Patriots practice facility is closing. Yet, you've got a situation where they hold Denver to six field goals. You saw how they played against Kansas City. You know coming into the season, they lost about nine different guys who elected not to show up and play this year primarily due to COVID-19 and everywhere you turn it's like these are not normal circumstances and it seems to be affecting them more abnormally than everybody else oh. and, and that's what I'm saying even less. Oh, let me pull a Stephen A. Smith oh thank you for making my argument no. so what side of the argument are you on are you worried or not I am worried okay. because I'm saying I don't know how you can overcome that. Well, your because argument I, is my argument. I, I mean, like, this is this is what I'm better. talking about. P specifically for a Bill Belichick coach team, if you can't practice in two weeks, basically, that's really bad. What do we always say with Belichick? Why is it that in the playoffs they excel even beyond what you expect in the mm -hmm. regular season sometimes? Belichick with time to prepare is just impossible. And it's not like the Patriots all over the field have the best athletes. It's not how he drafts because he's also the GM or coaches them up. He gets guys who he likes and, and puts them in specific roles and that they it's not that they're not versatile, but he uses them in specific ways. It's a lot about coaching. So if he it's not like the Bills or the Titans, right? Who the, the Titans can come off out of a certain situation and they did great. No excuse for the Patriots, but in in particular for a Belichick coach team, missing practice means a lot. Also, they have a bunch of people out for COVID, not just the nine defections to start the season, because we count that in the beginning of the season. Yeah. But they got a bunch of, I think, five players out for COVID. So no practice, COVID, all that stuff. Still, they didn't give up a touchdown. They always win when they don't give up a touchdown. They didn't give up a touchdown. Why didn't they win? Cam has to be better. Like, he has to be better. And, and he knows if, it. And if you're daring Cam Newton to throw it, He's got to be able to throw it. And by the way, again, he's rusty. Not only is he coming off a catastrophic injury yeah. in a new system with a new team, also not a lot of offensive weapons, but now he's rusty too. I even mentioned last week they could even lose to the Broncos. I'm okay. If you want to, I'm not concerned about the Patriots. If you want to be concerned about them, three of the next four games against the Niners, the Bills, and the Ravens. Mm. You're going to have to win, at and then you have one no, against no, the no, Jets. No, no, no. The Jets are before the Ravens. Yeah. No, I'm saying three of the next four, right, I right. said. So you're good. Like, let's assume they beat the Jets. You're going to have to win one of those three games at least to keep yeah. your head above water, and none of those are gimmies. So, but, but, so the schedule is tough for them in this next coming stretch. The way they play defense, and what I like, do I think Cam is capable of beating you with his arm? If you're going to just dare him? Yes, I do. I'm not worried about the Patriots. I'm, I'm not sold on Cam. I'm not sold on Cam, primarily due to his injuries and his rust. Even though he's complete 68% of his passes, I'm just not sold. I think if you are an opponent of the New England Patriots, you know that they can run the football effectively. Uh, but the bottom line is you're going to dare Cam to beat you. And the fact that practices haven't been frequent and regular, obviously, is something that's going to serve as an impediment to whatever success we're hoping Cam will have. Because, again, I will remind you, with all the years that Cam Newton has been in the National Football League, he only completed more than 60% of his passes two to three times. One year he completed, and both was in the 60 percentile range. One year he was at 67% with Norv Turner as his offensive coordinator in Carolina before he got injured a couple of years ago. That's really the only stellar year he had throwing the football with accuracy. This year he's at 68%, but a lot of those guys, a lot of those passes are low risk. I mean, it's short yardage situations and what have you. We've got to see him step up, and I think you're going to see teams forcing him yep. to show you mm -hmm. what you can what he can do throwing the football and I'm not sold that he's in a position that's to do why that this is going to come and down that's why I'm worried that's why this is going to come down to cam like who's better at making adjustments than Belichick right so now it's out there I mean by the way and you even suspect it coming into this season teams are going to say let's stop the Patriots including cam obviously from running Belichick knows that he is going to be prepared for cam to have an answer for that 
And I think Cam has to execute. If Cam executes, the Patriots will be fine. My money's on Cam executing. He's been an elite quarterback before. Yeah. Okay. Said about three practices in two months, so can't hold that. If anybody him. needs practice time to throw the damn football, yeah. it's Cam Newton. You're right. I'm not saying he can't do it, but he needs that time. I'm not sold yet. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.